Hofstra and St. John's battled to a tightly contested 84, 79 finish at UBS Arena that saw the Red Storm prevail behind some late-game heroics from Danis Jenkins Saturday afternoon. Despite fewer than 20 miles separating Karnaseka Arena and the Max Sports Complex, this matchup marked the first time the Pride and Johnnies faced off since December 2009. A Long Island native himself, Hofstra head coach Speedy Claxton was grateful for the opportunity to play a local high major program and thought it offered a lot to the New York basketball scene. The positives, we played against a local opponent on a big stage and we held our own, Claxton said. Previous St. John's coaches, I guess chose not to play us, so I'm happy that coach Rick Pitino got the job. For St. John's S with Stony Brook, Fordham and Hofstra on this season's schedule, it's clear there's a desire to develop those relationships with the local programs. Even after the hard-fought victory, Patino raved about his counterpart's coaching abilities and the development he's seen from the pride during Claxton's tenure in Hempstead. I've shaken hands with Dean Smith, Frank McGuire, Lou Karnaseka, from Bill Self, to every great coach that's been in this country, and I was close friends with John Wooden, Patino said. So don't exaggerate this, but Speedy Claxton's one of the best coaches I've coached against in my lifetime. Pitino, a Long Island native as well, reflected on a relationship with the Hofstra head coach that extends back to his days on the sidelines with the Boston Celtics. I said last year at Iona that Claxton is a rising star, and I don't want him to leave Hofstra, Pitino said. He was a great player who I worked out with at the Celtics, and now he's a great coach. So, I'm really proud of what he's done on the sidelines, and I'm thrilled that we came away with a win. Claxton expressed optimism about playing St. John's on a regular basis. Once Patino got the job, I knew that he would definitely be into playing us, and not just for this year, Claxton said. Hopefully we can get this to be a yearly thing.